Afternoon evening everybody, my name is Jamie Jew, welcome back to a brand new video where once again I react to another entry in this year's Eurovision Song Contest. And this time we are turning our attention to a certain Eastern European country which has hosted Eurovision before, just not in their current guise. And it also has to be said they have a very good football team, they've even beaten England a few times, so that being said that's not saying much. And despite their fairly strong start in Eurovision, Eurovision life when they first participated in 1993, including no less than five top 10 finishes, they've been struggling in a sense to qualify quite a few times. Though that being said, they've always been our friend and they've been a little bit of a guilty pleasure. TikTok all the way, they are mama stricken Croatia. And this time around, representing the Croatians, it is the turn of the hype train bubbling up big time in the form of the baby, baby lasagna. And yes, it's not a band as, uh, as I previously had to, it's just individual artists titled Baby Lasagna with the ever popularly titled song Rim Tim Tuggy Dim. And yes, in case you don't know by now, I have reacted to it before, I will leave a, a video in the annotations up on the top right of your computer or a little thingy over there and also leave a link in the description below possibly of my initial reactions to it with my lovely mother but that's before they were representing Croatia now it's official it's confirmed they're doing it and well I'm gonna react to their national final performance which is a, a bit of a belter apparently but before I do that I would of course encourage you to subscribe to my Eurovision YouTube channel because I've been making all of uh, different sorts of reactions to all of the countries participating in this competition I've also done uh, my tops on national finals my tops on the latest so far so this will be the 22nd country out there and I'm a little bit late but I'm trying to get in as quick as I can because I've been doing other things including seeing my girlfriend but now I am reacting to this but of course as always your subscriptions would be very much appreciated I'm very close to a thousand subscribers actually so get subscribing thank you very much otherwise without any further ado let's dive into and blissfully react to Croatia and there's the beautiful man and without any further ado parlay Oh, look at this. Oh, a lot going on already. With the handbag, him. Oh, washerwoman. There he goes. Look at that with the lighting. That's an introduction and a half. Especially with the uh, hard rock and everything. What are those things on his arms? I don't care. They look lovely. There's a lot of knitting around, that's for sure. Good grief. What can... That outfit looks absolutely so much confidence. Oh, there we go. Dry ice, low. <laughs> it's a lot of pink animals. Jesus, I'm already smiling. I'm already smiling. By the way, this is brilliant. It just listen to the beat. Even without it being being ticky ticky dim, this fact it just goes. It's just so brilliant. Here we go. Whoa, those dancers. I do like the little <coughs> background. Not so sure it requires the dry ice, but each of their own. I love the fact he's just got like a lot of um, old fashioned in place in this already. Oh, there's a lot going on, especially with the steam. Oh, one of them city boys, eh? <laughs> Those dances. There's a, more um, animals. Jesus. I will meow, thank you. Win back. This is the main bit of the chorus that goes. Whoa! Whoa! We got some extra loving dancing going on. It seems like knitting on the drums for crying out loud. Oh, a little bit of a thrusting there. Oy, fire! And the woman's being dragged. Where's the bridge gonna go? Like very modern sounding drums in this and very green. I'm looking at you, carrier. Come on! Very good riff, it has to be said. It's very recognisable and easily understandable riff. Ba, 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 ba. A little bit of a thing there. There he goes. Oh. There we go, big finish. Oh, big fire as well. Even though it sounds exactly the same as the previous chorus, you've got to feel like it's going for it big time, especially with the fire. Give it more um, um, uh, pyrotechnics, I would say. Oh, look at that big cat in the background. Big finish. <laughs> hey! Ah, this is even big 
fucking dick clap. Oh my god. Alright, so I am definitely going to give it a proper listen to without like any interruptions of uh, what I'm basically blabbing on about. But in the meantime, here are, of course, my thoughts. Oh my life! That was a lot to unpack, wasn't it? Jeez Louise! Um, I'm taken aback, but in a brilliantly good way, and I'm gonna explain why. I'm gonna first of all start off with Baby's, uh, if I can call him Baby? I don't know, I guess. Yeah, Lasagna's, um, uh, amazing stage presence when he's trancing around and trotting around in those big, like, knitted arm sleeve things and, uh, very confident kind of clothing, it has to be said. It's very him it has to it really is uh it's very his style it's very much i wouldn't say quite of the song but it nevertheless it's his persona and he wants to portray that sort of persona out it's how he is and i for one thing that's brilliant it looks the i just say he just looks the part on stage so <laughs> so confident do think his vocals are not necessarily the strongest out there um not by a long shot it has to be said but that doesn't mean to say he's got bad vocals like especially when he's on the quieter parts of the song goes boom like he's got the basics of those um, notes on there. That means that when he's shouting out the vocals, I do feel that maybe he's not quite hitting the correct notes. But it's not not mean to say he's not a bad vocalist whatsoever. He's just like sort of on the off piece. It's, it doesn't sound quite like what it does in the studio. But that being said, he really makes it his own performance, and he doesn't kind of need to match the studio. If I'm honest with you, he's his own. Persona. He's got his own uh, uh, set of vocals on him, and I, for one, I'm all for it. Staging-wise, I think it probably had a few little hiccups, such as I'm not so sure the dry ice in the middle requires it. That normally is sort of like associated with a ballad. But that being said, you can like sort of forgive it a little bit because there's a lot going on as it is anyway. The uh, staging presence of the LED screen, so they go all like with the rectangles and the lines. I think it suits it kind of well, but uh, there is definitely room to improve with those little bits in between but that doesn't mean to say uh, they are definitely going to change it because they might easily keep it but definitely the highlight is introducing those animals uh, uh like when it goes to the boom dim digga digga boom dim digga di bit where they go pink animals that kind of reminds me of pink elephants from dumbo then it goes green and it's like back to pink but basically those are the main two colors like well three colors actually sort of purple pink and green and you got like a mixture of different colors just before the bridge part and then all of a sudden you just got like a rainbow of colors with the cats <laughs> It goes like that and everything. <laughs> that it does put a smile on your face, uh, if I'm honest with you. And it's something that goes like, yeah, I'm into this kind of vibe. That works very well. And everybody else is sort of like in knitted outfits and white outfits. That's very much of the, uh, the message of the song because he's trying to uh, get out of life. I, I very rarely touch upon messages and indeed the lyrics for that matter. I do probably need to do a few more of those, if I'm honest with you. Uh, but that being said, the uh, lyrics and the message of the song fits in well with the stage with the, the amount of knitted items everywhere. There's a lot of white knitted items. And finally, speaking about the song, I'm in love with it. I'm in absolute awe and love with it. So much so, I think this is going to win. I am literally saying winner alert right now because I am so much in love with it. A lot of people are in love with it as well. I'm so, so glad Croatia absolutely follow their heart and chose this because okay, yes, Let 3 was a bang of a tune last year, but this takes it to a new level. There are a few people out there are comparing it to Karia from last year with Finland, but if you ask me, I think this is a completely different level compared to Karia. The main difference being is that with Karia, uh, uh, well, first of all, it's a different country, but second of all, uh, the fact that he went from aggressive to gentle in that song speaks volumes, whereas this is sort of a consistent kind of aggression, but uh, that being said, he also speaks a good story about it, and I'm also glad it's in English as well, because it's universal is a universal language. If it was in Croatian, it might have gotten lost if you ask me, but that doesn't mean to say it wouldn't have been a bad uh, choice. But yeah, this is definitely qualifying. I am I really hope it's going to win. <laughs> Even if our son is brilliant, I do hope this is going to win because for me, it screams winner. So Croatia, well done. Well bloody done. I do hope you get your first victory with this one because you bloody deserve this.
And that about is it for this particular video on my amazing reaction to Croatia. Well, at least I hope it was amazing, but never mind what I think. Please do let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you see Croatia absolutely oh, just being a beltering winner alert vibe? Or is it perhaps just a bit cataclysmic for you? I don't know why you think that, but there you go. Nevertheless, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Otherwise, you know the drill by now. Subscribe for more of my Eurovision juicy goodness. Smash the like button on this video for good measure. And of course, when I get voice bit better. Be in the bell again, everybody, about my latest videos. Catch you again in the next one. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.